Hey guys, Lego Boy 108 here, and today I'll be doing yet another Lego Star Wars UCS review. Um, today I have Obi Wan's Jedi Starfighter, um, it's ages 14 plus, set number 10215, and has 676 pieces. So, as you can see, it has a pretty nice battle uh, or design in the background on the front here. Um, then if we flip it to the side, it just shows uh, the measurements of the set, and then it shows that nice little um, droid, astromatic droid head that we get with this set. And if we turn it over, um, it just shows, I'm pretty sure this is from the Planet Genosis in the background there. It again shows the uh, sides of the set, uh, measurements, um, the head, and a bunch of other stuff that I'll get into in the review. So yeah, let's go. Oh, and again, instruction manuals. Didn't bother to include them because um, I'm pretty sure there's two. Don't take my word for it, but I don't think the instruction manuals are that big of a deal. But yeah, so let's ac actually get into the set. Alright, so here it is. Um, right off, before I get into it, the thing I have to say is that um, I misinterpreted the size of or the length of this. I thought it was going to be a little shorter, but surprisingly, um, it was a lot longer than I thought it was, which is, you know, better. So, yeah, um, so, uh, here it is. Um, I just, I think it's very well built, this, uh, design. Um, it's not too, for an Ultimate Collector set, it's not that big, um, I'm pretty, this is, I'm pretty sure this is almost about minifigure scale. I think it might be slightly bigger um, than minifigure scale. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll start off with the sign on the bottom here. Um, so it just got, it has some information on it about the set. Um, not I'm really going to read it off all that stuff. But yeah, um, what I really like about the stand is that you can like spin the thing around, which is pretty fun. I just like spinning it. So yeah, um, I like how the stands, um, the stands pretty well built, um, nothing too much to it. But yeah, I guess I'll just give you guys different views of it. I mean, there's really no features on this set, um, you know, neither on other Ultimate Collector sets that you get. And then, I really like this, uh, Astromatic, the droid head. I think they, um, Lego did a good job on it, and it's not stickers. It's printed, which is very nice. I was really glad they, I would have been really mad if they made that a sticker that you had to put it on them. But yeah, um, here are the engines in the back. Nothing too much to them. I like the nice green color they put in with it. I think it, may, think so, it makes it look a lot nicer. And then we got this uh, cockpit, which is a little too big for the minifigure. Um, uh, if I can get this off. Dang it. Alright, so... This is a cockpit. Um, looks pretty nice. It's, it is very detailed, um, very nice, but again, it's not exactly um, minifigure scale related. Um, dang, it's hard to put this on my other hand. All right, so uh, there we go. So yeah, um, we got some nice guns. On, well, the, actually, I kind of hate these guns on the front. They don't look that nice. Um, they're okay. Nothing really wrong on them. They could have been a little more. They could have put a little more time um, into designing the guns. But yeah, um, really, that's about it, guys. Um, this is a very nice, well built, well built set. It's not challenging at all. It's actually probably one of the most easiest Ultimate Collector sets to put together. Um, so yeah, overall, I give this a. Um, I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Um, pretty nice model. Um, just again, it'll look nice in your collection or any um, Lego fans co collection. So yeah, guys, um, that's about it. This is Lego Boy 108 signing off. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and bye.